just been uh, busy taking care of a few things, but um, I'm back. We're finally at a consolidation. Um, I haven't been trading too often lately. I've been taking some time off just to, um, you know, just to watch what was happening. Uh, for anybody that's following, you know, if uh, you know there were there was a lot of news about the IMF um, making an, uh, the Chinese currency. Um, a world currency, right? And and they were saying that that was gonna cause a lot of um, a lot of havoc when it comes to the U.S. dollar and whatnot. Um, I'm not gonna go into that because I don't I don't know much about it. I'm not gonna pretend to know anything about that. I just know whatever I've watched on 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 on. Um, I think it was the New York Times that published an a, an article, maybe a few articles on it. And what what I've heard from other traders, um, but I'm still researching that. I don't know really what's gonna happen with that. If you know, feel free to comment. You know, I, I like to learn more. But um, yeah. So I I just wanted to make a video today because it's been a while. I know you, some of you guys were hitting me up, asking when uh, you know, when I was gonna post up a new video. So I'm just gonna put something up, real quick. Um, so. Let me see. I've been, uh, there was a couple things I wanted to talk about today. It was, uh, this, I took one trade here. It was two trades that I wanted to take. Uh, I'm not touching, well, there's nothing going on right now at the moment with the GBP USD. We are about to get out of this, um, yeah, it's, it's doing pretty well, you know. I'm, um, I'm just waiting for it to bounce off of a, another trend line. But um, so this trade that I wanted to look at here was this is actually a trade that I'm that I'm in at the moment. Um, I'm up, I'm up about ten pips, you know, which is nothing crazy. But I'm only aiming for forty to fifty pips on that. Um, even though I I do think that the euro is gonna, I mean that the odd the the Aussie dollar is gonna keep going up. Um, let me, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I'll go into it. So, all right. So at the moment, <clears throat> the Aussie dollar is, is, is going up, right? We got, we got higher lows, right? And higher highs. So you see it is going up, going up, right? Higher low. And so you can see that I had this trend line here and it was doing pretty well right we got one touch there one touch there three touches there so it did well right it held up I had this other trend line right counter trend line just checking it out because we know that the Aussie dollar has been on a downtrend for a long time right so I was I was being very careful with buying the Aussie dollar, but um, I you know I noticed that it, it was on a on an uptrend for, you know maybe like the last couple of weeks. Now this is for like the last month, right? So the reason that I um ended up taking this trade is because it broke past this trend line that I've had. You know it's it's been, you know. I've had it on there for about a month, so it broke past that trend line, and I've been watching it ever since it broke past the trend line. Since it was already on an, on a on a very um you know strong uptrend, uh, I was expecting it to break past it anyways. And when it did that, you know, I basically just wanted to wanted to watch for the retest. And when it retested, I figured that would be a good opportunity to buy. Um, so what happened they retested uh right and for about you know consolidated for a little bit right we'll go to the one hour chart you know for a tiny bit not too long ended up getting in you know about right here um up about 10 pips this is doing pretty well so far um i'm gonna hold that for about 40 50 pips 
and then I'm gonna exit gracefully, right? Because you gotta you gotta make sure that you're getting in and out of this, you know, because anything can happen in the market any day, any time. You just don't know. Don't ever think that you know exactly what's gonna happen in the market because you don't. That's uh one mistake that a lot of people make. Um a lot of traders, right? So that's one trade that I did take. Here, I'll, just, I'll show you, actually. Because I know a lot of people want proof. I didn't do nothing crazy. I only did, I only did about... I only did about uh, 25 cent lots on that. But, um... So... Another trade that I was looking at was... USD CAD and this is something that I wanted to talk about because this is a trade that I did not take I didn't take this trade and there was a very very good reason for it and I'm very happy that I didn't take the trade because I ended up being right right so um one thing that I've been practicing is 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 basically um discipline right because there's a lot of trade when, when you trade with trend lines right and price action there's a lot of opportunities to trade, but not they're not all the best opportunities, right? And I've been struggling with that lately. And I've been trying to, like, discipline myself. All right, you know, trying to figure out, all right, why, if I lost this trade, why did I lose it, right? Um, and I'll pinpoint it precisely why I lost it. And I'll, and I'll basically flip that, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll figure out how I can change that and, and better approach trading so that I don't make those same mistakes again and I turn those weaknesses into strengths, right? So that's what I was doing. So I was looking at this and, you know, it's obviously an uptrend, right? Higher lows, higher highs, right? But then what happens here? Um, it starts to, uh, it, it, these are lower highs, right? At the same time, so we're having higher highs, and higher lows at the same time as we're having um, lower highs, right? And what does this mean? This is basically just letting me know that basically, you know, I want to set up a counter trend line here and wait. I, I'm not going to trade this counter trend. The only reason I have this counter trend line here is to let me know, okay, if it breaks out of there and it, and it retests, there's a possibility of it going upward, right? And um, so... As you can tell, this is right, like, like right on that uh, trend line, and right here, I was about to enter right here, and I was going to sell, but then I, I stopped myself and I thought to myself, okay, first of all, what's my risk reward, right? Th that, that was the first thing I thought about. So my risk reward wouldn't have been great because we had this Fibonacci level here, which is what the thirty-eight point two, right? At only 11 pips, right? And then the next, you know, like, the structure wasn't right. I had a feeling that I wasn't going it, it was, to... They're making higher highs, right? And higher lows. And this is an uptrend, so what am I doing selling here, right? So, look, I would have gotten in there. I could have made 10 pips, but what would I What would I have done with 10 pips? You know, like, it, you know, I would have made, you know, like, I would have risked... Um, Thirty dollars to make twenty twenty, right? Which is not, which is not what I what you know risk management. That's important. Right? So you be very careful with that. And so, look what happened here. It came. It bounced off, right? It bounced off of the Fibonacci that I was afraid of in the first place, right? And and it's still and it came back up and it's bouncing off of the trend line again. And again, even if it does come down and, and I, I, you know, it would have been a good, a good buy, I mean a good sell, I'm still not going to take that trade just because um, the odds are stacked against me, right? They're against my favor, which is not what you're trying to do, right? The reason that I took this trade is because it's on an uptrend, right? It broke the trend line, the counter trend line, right? And... It bounced off of it and it retested once, twice, 
three times before it retested three that that trend that trend line three times before I even took that trade. You see what I'm saying? So I, it didn't just bounce off one time, and I said, "Okay, I'm going to take this trade." It, I bounced off three times, and I said, "Okay, it held up." Now you know I'm going to buy, and that's what I ended up doing. And thankfully, um, you know, so far it's been a good trade. Uh, you know, I'm going to ride that up to 40 pips, 50 pips, and um, what else? This is another trade. I think that this is actually a good trade. This is something that I, that I mean, by the time I put this video out, um, it's, it's probably going to be too late. But there's the Euro USD. Um, I had one trend line, right, which held up. But then it broke through that trend line, right, broke past it, uh, ended up shooting up, and then it met this other trend line here. And... Um, you know, it's retesting on the one hour. So it tested once. Actually, over here, where was it? Hmm. Nah, it was here that I was looking at it. I didn't get into this trade because I, I, I saw it too late. But um, this is another opportunity to maybe get into this trade. I'm going to think about it. I might get in. I might not. I got to think about it. First, I got to check everything out. You know, because there's always a possibility of um, the trend line being broken. But um, it is on a downtrend, right? It's on a downtrend. Um, hmm. I, I, I'll, I'll be waiting. It's 427, so I'll be waiting for this hour, this one hour candle to close. And if it closes under the trend line, then um, there's a possibility of of that um you know that of, of me taking that trade so yeah that's pretty much it for today um you know i, I, I it, it, trading is straightforward you know it, sh it shouldn't it shouldn't be over complicated once you learn everything that you have to learn is just about practicing disciplining yourself uh you know learning proper risk management and you know hope you know disciplining your psychology because when you're in a trade and mo real money is involved then you you want to really um you want to try to relax your mind and and, and 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 stay in control you know so that you don't either get out too early or um take tr unnecessary trades or, or whatever the case may be so this is episode five b major effects um you know like usual feel free to hit me up uh, as of now, I don't have a trading group or anything, but, um, people keep asking about it and I, I you know, I'm thinking about putting something together. Uh, it's not going to be nothing, you know, crazy. It's going to be basic price action and, you know, and, you know, cause I, cause I'm, I'm trying to help as many people as possible, but it takes up a lot of my time and it would have to make sense with, you know. It would have to make sense with, with my time, you know, because I can't keep doing it, you know, for nothing. So, if you guys are interested in, in uh, you know, in learning, just, you know, hit me up. doesn't really matter. But uh, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And good luck this week. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.